how to add filters on excel sheet hi guys welcome back today i'm going to be showing you how you can add filters while creating a document a sheet on microsoft excel so let's get started uh, first you will open up any of the sheet where you want to add filters to now we can uh, create a brand new workbook as well we we can create a new sheet if we want, but I am going with one that I already have. So here I have some of details for my work and I have my employee ID number. We have form name, last name and roles. So I will be adding more later. So I need to also add a filter so that I can, you know, filter my search really easily and it will help me save time. So we can do that within Excel. A lot of people don't know how to do that. And if you are a complete beginner, it might be a little confusing for you. So let me show you how to do that it literally takes one minute to do so so what you need to do first is uh, understand what are filters well filter is going to be our search that we can filter for example i have roles here and i am seeing all of my roles here i have admins i have hr and sales all of them right here but let's say that i just want to see my salespeople. like i just want to see my salesperson who work in sales department so i need to filter this search but if most of the time people don't know how to do this and they just go with a simple search and then they find that person that takes a lot of time so we will be adding a filter right here in the firm we can add them to all of these different sections and it will help us customize our search the way we like in order to add filter what you need to do is you have to just select the first cell from here so i'm gonna select rows i have selected it and then we have this bar right here at the top of our screen we have all of our options we have file home insert draw page layout formulas and data so you need to click on data once you click on data now we have all of these different options so we have this filter icon right here and what i need to do is just click on it so once i click on it there you go your filters will be created so you can see right here now we have this you know arrow and it is filter arrow and it is added to all of these different lists and now my each list has a filter so in roles now if i click on this small option we have this right here so we have stored and everything here we have filters and you can see right now i have selected all of them for example admin assistant hr intern manager and sales so keep in mind that excel is actually really smart and it will get all of the different data that you have added and divide them into filters automatically so it kind of like it fetched that i have sales intern hr and admin so it created these different categories so now what i need to do is i'm gonna unselect and select sales that's it click on apply and making changes do you want to see sorting filters just for me now and there you go my sheet has been filtered for me and i can see all of my sales people so you can see other are just gone so this is how you add a filter now keep in mind you can get a view and you can get just your view or a view for whole team but i'm just going with me then what i'm going to do is and you will also see that there is a filter applied so that you know that there are more to this sheet let's say that i just want to see my hr people so i'm just going to click on hr and click on apply and there you go now we have just our hr so this is how we use filters on a sheet and it's really easy to use okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to again select all click apply and i will be able to check everything let's go to firm in firm what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just select people from a i don't want to see who works in firm b i just want to get information about firm a click on apply and there you go now i only have people working in a and you can see it filtered it for me similarly we have even names and in names what it will do is it will create of course different names and you can search different names from filters and it will help you save a lot of time so i'm gonna go to a default view again there you go this is our default view now when it comes to filters we have other options as well so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna of course click right here and then we have custom sort sheet view text filter what is text filter equals does not equal begins with and with contains in this one so these are some of the more filters that we can go for so we have text filters here and 
what I can do is I can actually filter my search. Let's say that you want to search a one particular person and you don't want to add filters to your sheet and you just want to do that. So you can go to text filters and you can go with begins with. Once you click on begins with, I'm going to click on A. So let's say that I'm looking for roles. I'm looking for HR. So I'm going to add that it begins with HR. And we have other options as well as contains, greater than, less than, between. So for now, I'm going with H and click on OK. Again, just see me. And there you go. We have our search filter right here. So it kind of like got me everything that I have for HR. You can see because I added H. Now, what I'm going to do is, again, I will go back to my default view and then we can go to names. So it really works well with names. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to filters right here, text filters, and I'm going to go with begins with. So let's say that I was looking for Michael and I cannot find him in the list. The list is way too long. So what I need to do is I can just simply add his full name or just add M because I know his name starts with M. So now I will click on OK and apply. And there you go. We have Michael right here. And it took me one second to get to him using filters on Excel. Similarly, I can now go back to again. Let's go with all select all apply and there we have it so once we apply a filter to any of the cell you will find this small filter icon with that list right here with that cell similarly in employee so i can show you another one really quickly go to text filter and go to custom filter or we can just go with any of these so for now i'm just going to select equals but from here i'm going to select is between so now let's say that i have a long list from one to thousand and i need to just filter and check the ones that i added recently or i want to check numbers from between a 20 to 40 or maybe from 35 to 45 75 to 85 so what we can do is we can add our you know numbers here and then we will be able to just check in between so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my IDs and I'm going to search for IDs. Now it depends on what you have added. So I have added employee ID. So that is why I am typing in the IDs for them. And then I'm going to type in 19. So I want to see from 13 to 19. I'm going to click on OK. And there you go. Our search has been filtered. You can see employee ID 913 till 919. This is what I was looking for. And now I have all the information I needed. And this is the small icon I was talking about. It means filtered. So you will get an idea. For example, sometimes we open a sheet and we filtered it and then we open it up and all of a sudden we're like, oh my God, where is our data? And we get confused. So just keep in mind, if you have this uh, right here, this small filter icon, then you will know that this list is actually filtered and it's not all. So I'm going to just click on apply. So this is how you will be using it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to our default view again. Click on exit. So I'm going to don't keep it. So we have our default view right here. Now, if I go to data, you will also find this right here, which is clear and reapply. So if you have applied a filter, you want to cancel it. You can do that from this clear filter option. And then we have reapply option as well if you want to reapply it. And this will help you add filters to your Excel Microsoft. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know how to add filters to Excel. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.